This video is for class 9 physics and today's topic is conditions for a body to float or sink in a fluid. So when a body is immersed in a fluid, two forces act on the body, right? Number one, the weight W of the object or the body. And number two, the upthrust FB, which acts vertically upwards. As we have studied in our previous video, we have noticed that the upthrust depends on the submerged portion of the body. It increases as the submerged portion of the body inside the fluid increases and becomes maximum, that is FB dash, when the body is completely immersed inside the fluid. Figure number 5.1 shows a body held completely immersed in the fluid with two forces W and FB dash acting on it. So till here actually we had done in our previous video, we have understood in our previous video. So let us take the uh, diagram from our book here. Uh, here we can see the body is completely immersed right inside the fluid and as you all know this weight acts vertically downwards and the upthrust maximum upthrust which is FB dash which is acting upwards. So uh, this is the condition when uh, the body is completely immersed in the fluid right. So depending upon the density of the fluid the maximum buoyant force can be greater than equal to or less than the weight of the given body. So when the body will float or sink in a fluid okay uh, depends on the relative magnitudes of forces W and FB dash. So it depends upon two factors the weight of the object and the maximum buoyant force okay maximum of thrust when the body is fully immersed not FB it is FB dash. Now in case one if FB dash if FB dash is more than W or if FB is equal to W then the body will float it will not sink. If FB dash is greater than W the body will float partly immersed with only that much part of it inside the liquid the upthrust uh, FB uh, due to which becomes equal to the weight of the body that is FB equals to W. Let us try to understand this also uh, with the help of a small clip. If we consider this particular uh, uh, image here you can see small portion is being submerged which is creating an upthrust FB right here suppose the body is completely submerged then obviously uh, the value of FB increases and will become FB dash when it is completely immersed. Let us see what happens when it is completely immersed. So at this condition what happens when the body is completely immersed under the liquid uh, I have maximum of thrust which is FB dash. Here we are talking about FB dash. Since uh, this FB dash is greater than the weight of the object under this condition, then what will happen? Then the object will start moving upwards when the external force applied to it is released. So here you can see it is just somewhere inside now when the external force is released the ball comes up. So under this condition here, under this condition my uh, off thrust, off thrust will be uh, equal to the weight of the object. Under this condition off thrust is equal to the weight of the object, only off thrust. But remember FB dash which was the maximum off thrust is greater than the weight of the object. So when this happens the object float with, with some part uh, immersed inside the liquid with some part immersed inside the fluid. Okay I hope you understood this particular paragraph. Now let us go back to the book again. What if FB dash is equal to W? So here when the total of thrust is equal to the weight of the object the body will float with whole of it immersed inside the liquid as shown here in this figure. When the object is totally immersed inside the liquid, here I can say the total of thrust should be equal to the weight of the 
object and here we can notice that in both these conditions uh, here this condition here when f v dash is greater than w when uh, it starts floating with some of its portion submerged inside or when f v dash is equal w when the total body is submerged inside the liquid in under both these conditions what happens is the apparent weight of the body should be zero the apparent weight of the body should be zero okay the uh, thus for a floating body the net force acting downwards should be zero okay let us try to understand this under this condition here when when the ball is uh, thrown right and the ball you can see here has this much portion submerged inside the fluid right because of this submerged portion it will have one up thrust okay which is fb right should be equal to the weight of the object which we have proved uh, just before right in this video only now under this condition now i have to make you understand what is apparent weight now apparent weight so apparent weight should be equal to the weight of the object minus up thrust okay the weight of the object minus of thrust since both of them are equal hence the weight of the object or the apparent weight should be equal to zero under this condition or when the body is totally submerged under water let us go to that condition also so here under this condition when i am going to throw this toy lizard what you will observe is you will observe that it is submerged under the surface of water totally right so under this condition what happens is the of thrust acting on this toy lizard should be fb dash right should be fb dash okay but now uh, under this condition since it is floating it should be equal to w also isn't it so weight of the lizard is w so both are equal so what will be its apparent weight the apparent weight will be w minus fb dash which should be equal to zero okay i hope you understood what apparent weight is now uh, let us again go back to the book coming to the next point that is uh, if fb dash is less than w if fb dash is less than w that is the total of thrust is less than the weight of the body then the body should sink due to the net force that is w minus fb dash that is apparent weight acting on the body is not zero right so if m is the mass of the body it will go down into the liquid with an acceleration a such that the force that is m into a should be equal to w minus fb dash or the acceleration with which it moves down should be equals to w the total weight of the object minus the total of thrust upon the mass of the object here we have ignored the viscous force of the liquid here viscous force you can compare it with the force of friction right so the unit of of thrust the of thrust being a force it is it should be measured in newton it is measured in newton or kgf okay uh, uh, let me try to explain uh, this portion here right let me try to explain this portion here with the help of a clip here i shall drop one uh, toy dolphin and it shall sink so when the dolphin is uh, dropped uh, in the water as you can see it sinks right so when it sinks down okay when it is sinking down so what happens is is uh let us try to understand the scenario i have taken a container okay inside the container there was a water field right and the toy dolphin was thrown into it and it sank right now according to uh, your book right here uh, the of thrust acting on the object 
should be the total of thrust since it is completely immersed in the water right but it is this time less than the weight of the object so the apparent weight okay i'm writing here as wa the apparent weight should be equal to weight of the object minus fb dash the total of thrust right but uh, this time this wa is not equal to zero therefore the dolphin sank okay now in the book they are also trying to find a expression sorry trying to find an expression for the acceleration with which the body falls okay now now this apparent weight okay this apparent weight is a force so what they have written is the apparent weight is the force should be equal to uh, weight of the object minus the total of thrust right now the force has a formula that is mass into acceleration which is pulling the body down this is remember this is apparent weight okay now the weight of the object minus of thrust so here they have written a uh, weight of the object minus the total of thrust now to find the expression for a that is the acceleration so acceleration will be equal to w minus of thrust okay upon m right that's what they have written here in the book so now from this expression we can uh, calculate the acceleration with which the body is falling down ignoring the viscous force of the liquid so i hope you have understood this much for this video thank you so much